A warning for millions of people who take sleeping pills like Ambien. Today, the FDA said there is evidence that these pills can stay in the body longer than thought, including among drivers behind the wheel, and they plan to change the way some people use it, especially women. Here's ABC's Lisa Stark, who saw firsthand why. We showed you how dangerous it is to drive under the influence of Ambien. Here I am in a driving simulator 30 minutes after taking the pill. 90 minutes after downing the medication. I like totally. I'll sleep for a second. And at four hours, still obviously impaired. Now it turns out even those who wait the recommended eight hours after taking Ambien and its generic versions may still be too impaired to drive. It's especially true for women who for some unknown reason do not clear the medicine as quickly. New studies show that after taking a regular 10 milligram Ambien or its generic, 15% of women will still be impaired eight hours later. And after taking the extended release version, a whopping 33% won't be alert enough for things like driving. So the FDA says the new recommended dose for women, half of what it is now. But first, check with your doctor. Those relying on other sleeping medications shouldn't rest easy. The FDA is examining those as well. Lowering the dose will help ensure women are alert for that morning drive, and it will also help reduce this. No, that was close. Dangerous cases of sleep driving. Lisa Stark, ABC News, Washington.